guys. Happy Monday. So I'm a little late. Sorry, I'm a little late. But um, uh, it's crazy. My daughter from college called and um, one thing led to another and things got carried away. And now we're, we're all good and we're all straight and I'm here 30 minutes late. <laughs> Apologize. But it's all good. All right, so we are doing um, a really cute, simple, lovely uh, project tonight with a um, thanks, Kathy. Do you think it's cute? I was playing around, so I got a new computer yesterday, and I was playing around with the iMovie capabilities. And um, I that was just like the first thing I made. So now that I know how to do it, I can um, try to do it even better than that. I was up till midnight playing around on my computer. And that's one of the things that I did. So I thought it was cute. Um, yeah, that's from iMovie. It's so cute, so easy. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. Hi, Beth. Hi, Carol. Hi, Melissa. And Kathy and Jane and Jean. And Claire from Michigan, just like me. We're Michigan girls. See, just like my shirt, Claire. That's for you. I am on my tippy toes showing you my shirt. Um, hi, Carol and Mary and Alice. And Angela, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple things. A new transfer, of course. Um, I have not gotten my big haul. That will be coming tomorrow. So um, when I get my box, when I get my box, I will be super excited and I would love to show everybody. What I'll probably do is a completely different, like, show you what I got live, not in conjunction with my actual project because um, I kind of like to keep them separate. I get, you know, yeah. Anyway, I get enough complaints as it is. Alrighty, so we are going to, oh, my messages are not. Did you, did you have them shake this? Uh, I questioned if I should do that, so I just kind of shook it on my way out of the store. Uh, just give it a little shake, shake, shake. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> my husband, I picked up some paint for him, primer, from the back room. And as I picked it off the shelf, because he's telling me where to get it, I'm thinking, should I go like have him put it in the machine and shake it up? And I was like, no, he'll probably complain. I'm going to tell you what, because I can never win with him. He will complain if I do it. He'll complain if I don't. Um, when you shake it up in the machine, it puts bubbles in the paint. And so it takes a long time for those to calm down. So in my head, I'm thinking, he'll just complain because there's bubbles in it. So I won't shake it. He can stir it, right? What else are paint stirrers for? So I get home. He just asked me, did you have him shake it up in the machine? No, but on the way out, I shook it up in my hand. <laughs> so yeah, I can never win. My choice is never the right choice. But if I ask him, it's like, he'd be like, if I say, hey, do you want me, should I have this shaken up? He'd be like, why would you do that? I'm telling you, asking him, It just reminds me about driving in the car. So we're supposed to turn at the next street. It doesn't feel like we're slowing down. His turn signal's not on. I think we're gonna miss it. Do I say, oh, there's our turn, or do I not? Because if I say, oh, there's our turn, he'll be like, what, here, here, right here? Like, as if to say, 
he knew it. But if I don't and we miss it, he'll be like, why didn't you tell me? All I can say is, whatever I do, it's never the right thing of what he would do. So I've learned to live with that. And nobody knows my thoughts but me. So it did go through my mind. But then I have to figure out, am I going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? Men. Men, men, men. That's all I can say. You're so fancy now. Shalise, I'm not, but I try to be. <laughs> you know that song? I'm so fancy. I don't know the rest of it. But you know what I'm talking about? I love that song. I like to pretend. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Norma and Karen and Dawn from Muskegon. Look, Dawn. Shout out to you. I'm not going to point to where you are because the thing is in a weird place on my body. Um, Hi, Debbie, who lived in the UP. Well, I can... She lived up here somewhere. <sighs> Yay, Donna's here. Renee, Fiji, woohoo! Going to Fiji. Trip of a lifetime. I was so excited. Glad you got your club transfers, Laura. Hi, Sarah. Oh my gosh, you have been busy, girl. Hello, Lynn. Carly. Carly, don't I know it. These, there are, there are multiple things. This is what I'm going to tell you. Fixing things, like anything. Internet and cable. the dog and legit our bills because he took it over from me a long time ago and I've never like looked at him since. Those are the things that he does that he like knock on wood. He can never leave me. He can never die because I will have no idea what to do. Um, those are the things. I have no idea. I literally was so stressed out today in the grocery store standing in the bread aisle because, well, in my defense, I don't really eat bread. But I do use it for the kids. But I apparently don't pay attention to it. Before I left my teaching job, he did all the grocery shopping. So now I'm doing grocery shopping. I have no idea what bread to buy. And I'm standing there and, like, I want to cry. I legit can't even, like, buy bread. So I'm like, what bread? I don't want to get it wrong. See, I don't want to get it wrong. So I text him. I'm like, dude, I can't, like, I can't figure, what what bread? Like, I don't even know what bread you buy. He's like, it was healthy whole grains or something, Keplingers. And I looked at it, and I flipped it over, and I'm like, 80 calories a slice. And I'm like, I think I like this light whole grain better for our family. <laughs> so I got this light whole grain wheat that's like 35 calories a slice, and they can eat that because they don't need 80 calories sliced bread. But anyway, anyway, um, he is handy. I've had it the other way. Like I've had it the opposite way and um, I prefer what I have now to what I had before. Um, and you are right. You cannot always win with men. Let's get this party started. Hi, Anne. Hi, Carol. Nope, Angela can't win. I know. And that's, I know. Well, and here's the thing. They could listen to us, but their little ego, I tell you what, I have less and less and less of an ego the longer I live. I can admit when I'm wrong. Today I had a doozy. Oh my god, and I'm so embarrassed about it. But um that is a story for maybe once we get started here. Um yeah, but he he doesn't like to learn anything from his wife because pretty sure he thinks she's just way smarter than me. Fine. <clears throat> but I'm the one who has the master's degree. Not him. And, um, yeah. But when I say things, sometimes he looks at me like, why do you even talk? 
No, I'm just kidding. He, he, he does. He, sometimes he looks at me like, oh, you're so cute. Because he thinks I'm wrong about everything. Oh, never win. Claire, we very well could be. Um, but yet, he loves me. And I love him. And that is what matters. And that, I think, is why we deal with all of the stuff that we deal with. Right? So we are going to... Um, I'm going to spray this. Now, this has been on for a long time. So we're going to spray this water, this um, board. Um, I absolutely adore my Good Vibes Only. I have it back here on my planters. Uh, but I want to reuse this and show you. And we're going to use our fun tool. So I'm going to show you. We're going to do... Um, uh, keep it simple. I'm not going to do keep life simple, but I'm going to do keep it simple. Um, and that is probably the best that I can say. Hi, Sheila. So funny. Sheila Santoro. Let me tell you about your name. I hope I said it right. But I looked at it and I, my brain said, like, Shaylee. But when I looked at it, I pronounced it phonetically and it came out Sheila. And I was like, ooh, maybe it is Sheila. So I hope I said it right. Jan, hello. It's a man thing, I know. 31 years of it, Alice. Well, I hope we get to 31 years. We are, well... <clears throat> I've been with him 14 and a half years, 14 and a half years, uh, not married the whole time, married in May, it will be, what year did we get married? 2012, it'll, no. What year is it now? 2020. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Seven, we got married in 2007. It'll be 13 years in May. You have to understand, I'm not an idiot, but you have to understand what my brain does with math. I am a mathematician, and so my brain does things with numbers that you, most people, that doesn't happen to. But I... When I think of a number, I immediately start pairing it up. I, I can't even explain it because you're gonna think I'm completely OCD in my brain. I immediately start like pairing it up with all of its partners. Like when I think of 2020 and then 12 years ago and eight, I'm like, no. And like, my brain does a lot of weird things. So that's what that was all about. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need a do over. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lisa. What kind of dog? My dog is a very big, giant, lovely, 80 pound, like sweet, looks like a beagle, but acts like a lab, looks like a lab slash beagle. He's a mix. He's like a hound dog mixed with a lab. And he's all my, he is my choice for a dog. And, and he, I'll tell you the story because it is the cutest story ever. I was never going to have a dog. Um, I had a dog growing up, a beagle, loved my dog, but I was very young and we lost our dog and we never had one after it. My mom would not let us because it was too sad to lose the dog. So, um, so... Basically, I'm just going to scrape this off while I talk, and then we'll use our um, board eraser. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to have a dog. And then a friend of mine who had recently kind of got a dog was like, um, she had come over to my house and she's like, let's go. I said, where are we going? She's like, um, we're going to go look at dogs or we're going to go look at the puppies or whatever she said. Like, I don't know what she said. 
And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, come on, we're just gonna look. And there's no harm in looking, right? And I was like, okay, but I'm not getting one. She's like, okay. So the girls and I and her, um, she and her daughter were like, we all go down to the um, animal shelter, animal control basically, to go look at the dogs that need to be adopted. Okay, so I go down there and I'm looking at the dogs and they're all, and I no offense to people with yappy dogs, but there are all these dogs yapping at me and I was like, just walk, it was like, it was like I was just walking by, like don't make eye contact because the yappy dogs, I did not want a yappy dog, like I just didn't. <clears throat> so I walked past them and here I'm walking and then there are the ferocious dogs. I'm like, I don't want a yappy dog. I don't want a ferocious. I don't want to look at any. I just want to look at the cute ones. So I look down and, you know, because like down on the bottom row is where they keep the big dogs. And I'm a big dog fan. Love big dogs. But um, anyway, so love big dogs. Wanted a big dog. Like in my life. I didn't want a beagle, um, I wanted a lab, okay? And I said, it would just be the sweetest thing ever if I could just have a lab that looks like a beagle. Because I want the big dog, but I want it to like have those colors, the beagle. So, um, and my whole, have you ever, if you've ever listened to country music like a while ago, um, there's this song, and I forget who even sings it, but it's called Feed Jake, okay? And he sings about this song, like, if I die before I wake, feed Jake. Like, a sad song about if you outlive your pet, you know, somebody needs to take care of your pet. So, feed Jake. And I'm like, that is the sweetest song ever, and I just want a dog named Jake. And I want this beagle to look like a big lab. So I looked down at this cage and this dog was sitting there, so sweet, just looking at me with puppy dog eyes. Didn't bark, didn't growl. And he had this like white face with like brown up here. And I was like, oh, you are the cutest thing. And I, and he, and I could look and see, and he had like brown spots on his back, like, you know, like hound dog spots. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're the cutest thing ever. And I'm like, what is your name? And I look in the kennel and they have, when they get the dogs, they name them. And his name was Jake. I kid you not. I took a picture with, of that dog. I sent it to my husband and I'm like, look. And my husband wanted a dog. So um, that day I rescued Jake. And he's been around for 11 years. So when we got him, he was about two He's 13 and a half now. So he's he's a pretty special dog. Also, um, once when we were we had just gotten him. So this is this is the story about Jake. Um I gotta scroll down. So, um, Pirates of the Mississippi feed Jake. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, I, this other story about Jake. So, um, he, Aaron and I were married and we were married for a couple, a year or so and we were trying, trying, trying to like get pregnant and we couldn't get pregnant. And, um, so we get a dog. Um, I had two daughters for my previous marriage, but, um, so we got a dog and uh, basically we were putting in an um, electric fence in our yard so that the dog, we could train the dog to stay in the fence. And um, I put him on a tie out and our yard, we live in like this lake neighborhood. So like our front yard, our front yard, there's a street and then the lake is on the other side. So our backyard there's like a back road. We are, our yard streets on the front and the back. We don't live there anymore. But when we did, 
um, I put him on a tie out and I watched him run off the deck and the chain did not go with him. And immediately I knew he's not hooked up. Oh my gosh, I hear a car coming. Oh my gosh, he's going to get hit by a car. Like I, I knew everything in a split second of what was gonna happen. And I scream bloody murder for the life of me for Aaron to like go tackle the dog to save his life because he's going to be hit by a car. And Aaron just looks at me, doesn't do anything. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like screaming at the top of my lungs. And all I see is I hear the car like screech. I hear a boom and I open my eyes and Jake's feet, paws, are up towards the sky. He's above the car and I crumble to the ground and I close my eyes and I'm like, all I could think of was, why would God give us a child? I can't even kick, take care of a dog. Like, I can't believe that I just did like all of this happened. Thank God Jake was not hurt, not broken, no bleeding, no like internal bleed, nothing. I'm, I made my husband take, we had to go to the emergency vet. He was given some pain medicine and literally in like two days he was back to new. I watched him 10 feet above this car. Like, I, I've never witnessed, like, something, like, I can't believe he walked away from that. He walked away from that. Um, yeah, so that was scary. And in the meantime, I was pregnant and didn't know it. So it was all right. God trusted me not only with a dog, but also with my son, Ryan. So long story short, and I really need to get to work because now I'm going to have complaints because I talked too long. So I'm sorry. One thing leads to another, and another, and another. <laughs> All right, so here's what I really want to make. Keep it simple. And I want to put the little things here. And I want to keep it simple and do it all in, um, I think I should do it all in black. Emma, what's up? I was going to sign something. I can sign it. You can come on over here. Um... You should really ask Cassie um, what happened today between the two of us. Really, what happened? Um, I cannot. It's so embarrassing. Do I sign where it says parent, parent signature? Si you sign where it says parent signature, <clears throat> mom. And the date is 2 10 2020. Yep. Um, are these the classes you're going to take? Yep. Well, I should probably read it. In front of everyone. IB English, IB Math, World Regions. Mom. <gasps> Forensic Science. Mom, you can't even Fun. Agree. It's World Religions. Oh, World Religions. I, I, it could have gone either way. Chamber Singers, of course. Power Training, of course. Forensics 1, awesome. TV Internship, that's awesome. Awesome. That's, that's you think you'll get it? Year. Business law. Sweet. Oh my gosh. I want to take your classes with you, except for the English. I will like not go to that one. <coughs> yeah. English is my least favorite. Mine too, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> you have to. Well, oh no, it's it's a fun I it's fun. I love I like having English. Wait, like it's gonna be H L. Yeah, it's just that the right kind? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then alternative. No, uh-uh. You Mom. erase creative writing right now. I am not going to live through that with you. Mom. There is no. Ha. It's creative. Not argumentative. Mom. So you enjoy creative writing. It's different. <laughs> Plus, Mr. Boss teaches it, and I really want to be in his class again. Okay. Mom, that like, gives me a heart attack. Mom, it's an alternative. Okay. 
God is good Literally all the time, all the time. It's God is good. It's only a semester, and it's not IB. Um, Emma, you're supposed to come say hi. I don't think she will because she has a towel wrapped around her head. <laughs> well, she would, but you could say it's hi. It's not IB. It's, it's not, not honors. It's just a regular class that oh, everybody okay. can take. Okay, well, I <laughs> hope you get all the ones you want because they sound amazing. <laughs> I'm jealous of all the classes that kids get to take these days. It will be her senior year. Mm. All right. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I mean, who's even working on a project tonight? Not me, apparently. All right. So yeah, Emma is too embarrassed. She had just gone in the shower. Um, Lisa, our podcasts are hilarious. You should like be with us one on one. Um, it is legit like a sitcom. I don't, I don't know. And I think we bring it on ourselves, but we have had some of the craziest adventures, craziest adventures ever. All right. So this is what we're going to do. It's going to be easy. Um, I think it's going to be quick and easy. I don't know. I'm eyeballing everything. Looks centered. I think. I think. I don't know. I probably shouldn't. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think if I do it like this. See, and then I stop talking when I work. And I stop working when I talk. It's, it's, it's hard. You know... Being a teacher, oh gosh, I am not paying attention to what I'm doing. As a teacher, my students knew exactly how to get me off topic. So they would ask me questions about, you know, whatever. Um, and then I would talk. Or they'd be like, oh, how did Ryan do it wrestling yesterday? And then I would tell a story. And then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, math class is over. What? Yeah, that's my, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. My favorite teacher, one of my favorite teachers in the whole world from high school was Mr. Bailey, our science teacher. And he taught by telling stories. Like we would learn something and then he would tell a real life story about it. And it made, for me, it made everything so fun. I think stories are truly fun. I don't, I don't know. I just love stories. Anyway, so um, I never thought of it as getting him off track because I always felt like I was learning even though he's telling a story but the boys knew what they were doing and they would get him off track and have him tell stories he was a pretty pretty awesome person yeah Angela we bring it on ourselves um but I I think it's all right though <laughs> Jessica is a little more, well, okay. She's a little more high strung than I am. I'm a little more chill. She's more the like freak out type of person. And so I have done a really poor job of laying this out. So now we're going to adjust it because did you, did you write back? Did I write back? What did I say about write? Did I write back? I think I'm confused. Did I write back? Who was I supposed to write to? Lisa, you have to find us at ChalkCon and come and introduce yourself 
and tell us who you are because we would love to meet you. It can get kind of crazy. Oh, I wrote the, so I write the numbers. When I have multiple, when I have just one transfer, I'll put back on it. But when I have multiple, I'll write the number on the front and then the number on the back. And then I know this goes with this. And, you know, God, I thought you meant like, like someone wrote me a letter and I had to write them back. I was so confused right there. Um, it's kind of crazy. I don't, I, I got up really early. So let me just say this. I've been having to wake up really early lately because I've been helping out, um, with, um, one of my sister's kids taking them to some appointments and because she has to work early in the morning. And so I have been getting up early, but I have not adjusted my going to bedtime. Which means I'm not getting, you know, the right amount of sleep. So I feel like my head is like a little bit in a fog. And I'm doing like... A lot of wrong things right now as far as chalking goes I'm gonna set this here and do this later um, yeah that's not gonna work this needs to go up a little okay all right this looks good Oh, I get it. I get it now, Shalise. Oh my gosh, it takes me a while. So I was going to keep it simple and do all black because I love the black on here. But what do you say we do a pop of some pretty green that's not retired? We could do some sage for the this. Okay, this is going to be the quickest, easiest, most amazing, simple, yet stunning, can I use more adjectives, lives. English is my worst and least favorite subject. I have a math, math and science brain. I like facts. I do enjoy history and social studies. Writing and reading are like gag me. I can't. I do read, but since I've found Audible in my life, it's way, way better for me than reading. Because I, I do read, I think I read slow, And um, but I have read some great books. It's just very time consuming. If I listen to books, man... I can work and listen at the same time. You're missing the word it. I know because I want to put it here and it doesn't fit. I have to do keep and simple and then fit it in. I promise I won't forget it. Okay. Jan, you can laugh at me. I don't mind. It's okay. I feel like everyone needs a little, little laughter. It's good medicine. It's good medicine. It's good medicine. So just go ahead and laugh. Um, it is Monday. It is Monday. I haven't been home all day. I, well, I mean, I mean, that's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. But do we really need to time this today? Let's just say, oh gosh. Let's just say, um, no matter what, I'm going to win. I am not writing with a permanent marker. I will write with my white erase marker. But I'm going 7, 50, let's do 757. 
That's how many minutes I think. A little bit under eight minutes to do this. I know I'm gonna have to dry those words, but we got this. Okay. Yay, Sarah got her catalog today. Whoop whoop. Um, case of the Mondays. I got up early, took my nephew, brought him back, got the boys ready and on the bus, got myself ready. I did have a nail appointment. Um, we'll see, I'm leaving on Thursday, which just led me to believe that oh, I need to make some videos for Thursday and Friday. Um, so I had to get a mani-pedi. I don't usually get a mani-pedi. I usually get my nails done, not my toes or my feet, but I had to because I'm going on a girl's trip. And so I decided, <gasps> Sarah says three minutes flat and done. Woo, wouldn't that be crazy? All right, let's, let's go and I will talk as we do this. Um, I'm gonna get some things prepared. So, go. So basically, I went to get my nails done and of course that takes way longer. I'm usually in and out in 30 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it was like two hours, if not an hour and a half, like hour and a half to two hours to do pedicure and my nails. So there went like a good portion of my day. Oh my gosh, I cannot, holy buckets, I can't get it. Um, but then I had to go to find a pair of shoes for my six-year-old. <clears throat> I had to go to Home Depot and get paint or pri primer, sorry. Um, I had to look for <clears throat> Valentine's Day presents for my husband. And um, even though we don't really do Valentine's Day, he said something about getting me something for Valentine's Day, so I have to get him something for Valentine's Day, and it has to be good because what he said he was going to get me for Valentine's Day is, like, really good. And he's probably not going to get me anything. I'm going to have a big box full of awesome things for him. So I had to do that shopping. And then um, I had to go to Sam's Club. <sighs> That's not an easy place to shop because I end up buying everything. Oh look, this was on my list of the grocery store. If I buy it here, I'll just have a whole bunch extra. So I shopped at Sam's Club. Then I shopped at, um, oh no, this is what you're gonna love. So I shopped at Sam's Club and then I realized the one thing that I wanna get him isn't at Sam's Club, it's at Costco. So I had to drive all the way across town, which is like 20 minutes across town, to Costco to get another part of his gift. And that leads me to, I was supposed to go to, this is gonna sound, um, this is gonna sound funny. Um, I was supposed to go to the gym, not to work out. I should, but not to work out. I need to, um, I need to like do a little bit of, just a tiny bit of tanning. I don't tan a lot. I, I do like five to 10 minutes for a few weeks and then I'm good. And I, and I wear SPF while I tan. But my skin is such that it doesn't take a lot and I get tan. So, um, and I don't burn, so that's a plus. So I always feel I always feel like I have to like do that. I know what I'm doing, and I have the possibility that I could get skin cancer. Okay, but anyway, um, so I needed to get there by three. So I'm heading down to the grocery store, and I realize that hmm, um, I'm gonna have to skip grocery shopping because I'm not gonna get to the gym by ten to to or by three to get to the tan. Well, I sit in the parking lot. I look it up. I make sure the time is right, and if I wait till tomorrow, they're only there from five to eight. It's a 24 hour place, local place, and then um, they're only manned for so long and I need to pay them. So basically, I look at the time and I knew I had to get there by three, and guess what? 
not three, two. So I already missed my chance to go there. So then I decided to go to get groceries anyway. Um, then I had to, um, while I was there, I had to remember that I had to get paper products for Ryan's class for the Valentine's Day thing. I had to get Valentine's for Ryan. I had to get, um, um, oh, oh, done. And I do believe if I wouldn't have been talking, it would, probably would have been three minutes flat. But instead, it was four minutes and 15 seconds. And it's a really cute board. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Back, back to work. Back to work. It's painting. So, um, quit tanning and going. <gasps> I knew that was going to happen. Someone was going to tell me that. I don't. Okay. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to say anything because obviously that is a scary, not good thing. And you were right, I could get it. I know, I know. I'm sorry that you're going through that. And I should. Oh, I have problems. I should take your advice. But I have issues. I know, I'll have more issues if I get skin cancer. I know, I know all the, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I have problems, I do. But, all right, not gonna talk about that anymore. You got two new transfers stuck together, freeze, Janet. You need to put them in water, not warm water. It needs to be like cool, put it in water. Once it's completely submerged, you just need to like take a breath because if you are freaking out, it will not work. Once they are submerged in water, you need to slowly, and I mean slowly, slowly peel and keep them submerged in the water and just let the water do its trick. Um, it could take a long time and you may have to take a break. Not even kidding but just slowly in water is what you need to do. The thing with tanning is, um, my skin doesn't burn. I say it's because I'm part Native American, but my sister's DNA test says it's because we're part Italian, Greek, or Greece, Greece, I don't even know. Um, but regardless, I don't burn unless I go out in the sun with nothing on and no like base tan. So we're going on a cruise and so this is what I do for a couple weeks and I told you I wear sunscreen. I, I put it on my face because I know I don't want more wrinkles and um, I go tan for like five minutes and then um, I do that like every other day for a few weeks and then I have like a really nice base tan and then I'm good and I wear sunscreen um, every time I go outside my face stuff has sunscreen in it and I do my best um, I'm probably if I were to get it, it would be on my feet because I always forget my feet and I've noticed that I have like a ton of freckles on my feet now. Isn't that crazy? Oh, Dawn Marie, thank you. I am ecstatic over Fiji. It's like a dream, a dream. I just cannot wait. I just hope I can handle the darn flight. That's all I have to say. 16 hours, and that's from LA to Fiji, or to wherever we fly into. Um, we have to fly from Michigan to LA, and then from LA on. So, 
fingers crossed. Right, I definitely, yeah. So I, so I pre-tan um, when I go on trips and I only do it once a year for maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I'm not addicted to it. I'm not like, I don't have like fake bake skin all year long. Um, I naturally, and after that, like over the summer, we do have a pool. Um, so we do go to the pool, um, but I do put sunscreen on. Um, and, and like I said, I, the whole goal is for me not to burn, honestly. So I can be out there um, and enjoy like a whole day outside and not burn. And I do wish white was in, but I have issues, so. I know. Oh, thank you, Dawn Marie. We do have vices. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. And I just don't think spray tan, oh. I mean, that's not even going to help me anyway. Tweezers for your transfers. I know. That's, I know. Yes, I have a pokey tool and I have a pokey tool that are tweezers and I have them right here, but I still use the other thing. Carol got her kit today. Yay! That's the most exciting day ever. And you need to do like a live unboxing. Like what I'm doing, just go live and show the box and just open it up and like, Go, no, don't go that fast. Hold stuff up so people can see what it is. That's the most exciting part. Um, Very long flight. Yeah, wine might get me through. I don't know, sleeping. Oh, I don't, the problem is when you're tall and Fiji, so I looked, I looked up what um, first class would be. Cause I was like, well, maybe we, maybe we could like save up and upgrade to first class for this 16 hour flight thinking it was going to be like 800 to a thousand dollars, right? To upgrade. Okay. <laughs> I feel stupid saying it. $25,000. We are not going to fly first class to Fiji. It's just not gonna happen. So we will fly just regular old like everybody else. And the leg room is what it is because I don't have an option. Um, so 16 hours on a plane. I know they're a little more roomy than regular airplanes, a little more. I feel like my little green things look like baseball stitching. But that just might be me. I think it really looks like a baseball. Like if I had a round circle board about that size and I made those red, it would look like baseball stitching. That's where my brain is tonight. So keeping it simple, I want to um, share with you really quickly yeah, Angela, ridiculous. Um, I was so excited to look it up too. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, let me see. Because we have a year um, before we go. And so I'm like, we could save up the money and just pay. And no, it's not going to happen. The people up there, um, I'm going to pay attention to who they are because they are wealthy, stinking rich. That's who they are. Put a little flower. I could if I had some. I have to I have to go to my transfer way far away from where I am. Um I just like the words uh because simple is um I feel like it's something people search for, like simplicity, and I feel like it's something that um we lose track of, we lose sight of, and Especially me, who I feel like has to, like, go overboard all the time. That if I could keep it simple, my life would be, my life would be so much better. Um, but, yeah. I have issues. I just have a ton of issues. Um, three things. Really, really quickly. Bear with me. This is the month that you want to join Club Couture. Uh, there is a... Fun 
game going on in my VIP group. So if you aren't in my VIP group, you're going to want to type add me in the comments to get in there to see what it is. And it has to do with Club Couture and it has to do with um, all the cool specials that are going on. Club Couture right now um, is the amazing, cute transfer set that looks like this. And that's our February club kit. Well, you can get that for $19.99. If you join this month, you just have to add it on. And then your subscription will actually start in March. Um, but the reason why you need to join in February is because all of our chalk paste for our preferred customers, and those are people who are members of our club subscription, everybody gets 20% off all of our big chalk paste. So all of our um, tubs of chalk paste, 20% off, and that's like unheard of because they never put our chalk on sale because it's like the number, like transfers in chalk, that's like our thing. Um, so yeah, so you can join Club Couture and if you need more information about what it is and how it works, type club in the comments and I'll get you that. Once you join, then you can go back and place your order for your discounted chalks. Um, so that's how that works. And of course, if you're thinking about um, becoming a designer or you're kind of curious about what it takes to be a designer, type team in the comments and I will send you a message to get you a link so that you can watch a little video about what it takes. Um, it's just a video that I did, a game. Sarah, no, you're in it because you're, you're already entered. Remember, I can't talk about it on here, but you might have missed it. I don't know. But if you're already a club member, you're already entered into the, the contest. So um, it's, yeah, you have to be in there to know what it is and read it because I can't talk about it out here. Um, but it's there. It's in there. Gave up a free trip to Hawaii because of fly. <gasps> well, Sarah, I had a free trip to Hawaii and I went on it in two 2017. That's wrong. See, why do I keep thinking I got married in 2012? I got married in 2007. Five years after that would be 2012. I went to Hawaii in 2012. And it was a free trip that I earned with a different company. And Aaron and I went. And the flight there was fine. The flight home was like I can't even say. It was absolutely horrendous. I lost my favorite jacket in the world because we took a red eye from Hawaii home and I had no idea because when you don't sleep, your brain doesn't work right. <laughs> so I lost my favorite jacket in the whole world, somewhere between Hawaii and Denver, Colorado. I have no idea where it went. Also, the airport was awful and we almost missed our one flight. So, ugh. That's, and then I had the chance to go back to Hawaii um, two years later, and I purposefully did not go. I was like, I was just here, and I don't need that flight. I think every 20 years is fine, not before that. Um, yeah, goodness gracious. Um, wow, to be able to throw that kind of money on something. I know, on a flight. I mean, I bet. It would feel amazing to be able to be in first class for that flight, but I mean, maybe if like, I don't know, maybe if my famous friends would pay for it for me, but I have no famous friends. I mean, I pretend like they're my friends, but they're really not my friends. They're just like people I know from TV, you know. All those famous people, like Jennifer Aniston. She's been my friend forever. Um, I really like her a lot. And then there are people who I just think, like, you know, like Jimmy Fallon. I just feel like he is my friend because he's funny, and I think that we would have fun together. I mean, I want to have him over for game night, but he's busy. So if they would pay for my ticket, then I think that would be pretty cool. 
they're the ones who are going to be sitting up there when we go. It's not going to be us. Anyway. Hi, Teresa. I'm off topic, so you'll have to forgive me again. This is what I made. It's all done. And um, it's simple and cute and lovely. And I have a spot on my wall back here to put it. I don't know if it'll fit there, but it might fit over there. All right. Um, so Carly, there's only one airline that goes to Fiji and it's Fiji Airlines. That's the other shocker. Um, yeah, only one flight. The only thing you could do is like fly to Hawaii and then take a flight from Hawaii maybe to Fiji. I, I actually don't know if that is possible. Um, but yeah, there's only one airline that you get to go on. And it's forever expensive. We'll see. I feel like I feel like they know it in their hearts, but they have a difficult life and so you know, I just don't get I just don't rank. They have a lot of stuff going on. I'm just me. Yeah, for real. The other people, let's see. Who else are my friends besides those funny? Oh, do you know who else is my friend? Melissa McCarthy is my friend. Like, I feel like we could hang out. Um, and I think she would crack me up the entire time. And I used to hear about game night. So, okay. So, I used to hear about game night with my friend Jennifer Aniston and Melissa McCarthy. They're actually friends, and that's why I feel like we're all friends. Um, I, oh, that's okay. Um, I really like game night. I love playing games. I'm not competitive at all. Um, and it's fun, and I like to, like, learn how to win games um not because I'm competitive just because you know I like to know how to win and um so game night is my favorite but then I have to sometimes like tone it down depending on who I'm playing with because if I'm playing with anyone new they may think I'm like a crazy psycho if I got too competitive Carly, would you play game night with me? So my husband, he like would go to game night, but he, and he will play for me, but it's like not his favorite thing in the world, but he will play, he'll play cards and that's like fine. But when it comes to actual games, <clears throat> he's, I don't know. Sometimes he participates, sometimes he doesn't, if he doesn't have to. Shalise, we are friends. We go way back. I don't know how far back, but it's pretty far. That I can, you know, I know your name when I read it on the comments. It's all good. Ellen, so Ellen is totally... There is a special place in my heart for Ellen, 100%. I think she should be, I think she, I think, oh, she does like games. She has that game, that game, see if I watch any real TV, she has that game show game, that game show game, the game of games, game of games. See, I want to be on that. I like, my whole life I've wanted to be on a game show and also Broadway, which are totally different and not at all the same um but I really want to be on Family Feud and then then I got to pretend do Family Feud at at leadership this year because of Jessica but it wasn't the same it wasn't like the real same Family Feud but I want to be on Family Feud always and I wanted to be the lead person in the front I wanted to like be the first person at the tall thing it's all right I'm never going to be on Family Feud. But I like to be on, like, a real game show that's fun. 
like celebrity win, lose, or draw. Is that still a thing? Or celebrity Pictionary. Was it win, lose, or draw, or Pictionary? So I love that game. I would be on that. Or Password. Like, I would be on that. I would be really good at it, too. All right, you guys, this is ridiculous. We got to go. I'm afraid I'm really going to get some haters. It's not Facebook haters. It's YouTube. They're going to be like, Sarah, can't you just make videos and speed them up like everybody else? And I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I don't have time to do that. And they're going to say, oh, but you have time to talk, like, the whole time. Yeah. What do you do? That game show. The, ga the sh game of games. The game of games game show. Because I have never watched it. I only see what Ellen shows us on her show. Um, or what's on Instagram. Because that's like the most TV I get is Jimmy Fallon on Instagram and Ellen on Instagram. Everything else um, is like, I don't know. Unless I'm watching Netflix. Because if I'm watching Netflix, then it's not real television. So I don't actually know what's going on. Um, are y'all watching The Masked Singer? Because I watched the first episode after the Super Bowl because why did I need to go to bed? I don't know. I didn't need to go to bed. You guys, I've had nothing to drink. I need to, I feel like I need to say that because I feel like you might question me right now. Um, I've had nothing to drink except for water. Let them hate. I would, I, I do let them hate. And for the most part, I do not comment back, but every once in a while, I, like today, I commented, okay, so someone commented on a video, and she said very nicely, your videos are too long, um, could you please, she goes, and I feel like I'm missing something because I just fast forward to the end, okay, that's fine, <laughs> it, it gets the job done, but you're right, you miss instruction and blah, 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 so she goes, could you just maybe um, um, record and do a speed up video so it's like really quick and fast and like put words over it? And I don't know how much video editing you guys all do, but um, it literally would probably double the amount of time that I have to spend on doing project, doing, doing lives. And I said nicely that I appreciate your, your opinion and your comment. However, I just don't have that kind of time to spend editing videos. Um, what I do is um, I like, I, I educate and I teach how to do things and I do that in real time. Um, if like my entire job was editing videos and making videos, I would have to make a whole heck of a lot more money on videos and I don't. So, so, um, yeah, so we have to just do what I do and if it means you have to stop watching, that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to like, you don't have to like my videos because there are a lot of other people who make videos. Masked, love the mask scene. Yes, yeah, so I need to catch up on that. Will you show me what wipes you use? Um, I will show you my preferred wipes. These are my not, okay. So ever since I found these, let me, let me grab them because I just ran, oh, well I have the box thing right here. Um. So, uh, I buy the Costco brand. They, okay, so here is the ingenious people of Costco, my friends. Number one, they're in this lovely stay fresh, stay fresh pouch. They stay wet, longer. They don't dry out at the top at all. You just, you know... Lift this up and you pull them up. I need to get, I need to show you the difference between these and my kind that I don't like. And I'll show you as soon as I find 
an open container. Hold on, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm coming. I'm running. I have a really long room. I swear it was like a football field. Okay, so I just got a brand new one. They're from Costco. Now, I'm gonna take one out. I just want you to look and see how big they are, okay? It's big, right? It is. Every other brand, every other brand, I don't care if it's Clorox or Lysol or my old favorite, Sam's Club brand, this big. So let me compare. Also, these are hard, these are soft. And not only are they a little wider, but they are way longer. Hello, they're way better. And these are, are even a little more um, absorbent. These don't, these would not, these literally are just for wiping um, they do the job, but they're smaller, so you get less. These are amazing. I mean, if I could marry them, I would. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not going to marry my wipes. But these are my favorite. Now, if you get a box of these, it comes in a box of... Must be eight. Must be eight. Four or eight. I don't know. You get... Half of half of the box are these, the blue ones, and half of the box are yellow. The yellow ones have a scrubby side, which are very useful in a lot of ways. Half of it's scrubby, and on the other flip side, it's soft, just like this. So sometimes if you have like a stubborn stain, you could use the little scrubber and then flip it over and use the soft side for everything else. So I'm just telling you. Oh, Carol, thank you. Yes, she is missing. She is missing that, and it's okay. There are millions of YouTubers, and she's on YouTube, and she can go find someone who does what I do. You know, if she really doesn't want to watch, I understand. Sometimes we can't because we're busy, and it takes too long, but it's all right. I'm going to keep being me because it's all I know how to be. <laughs> It's all I know, and it's taking me this long to figure out that I can do that. I can just be me, and everybody else can go fly a kite if they don't like it. All right. I have. I've tried a ton, and these are my faves, um, but not saying... You know, I'm just saying they're my favorite. I, um, apparently, do you think I should take disinfectant wipes on the plane with me? I'm just getting your opinion now. Totally off topic. Because I'm flying on Thursday, and I'm like, I know in my head that it's fine, but... I feel like I might just wipe down my tray table and my arm rests, my seat belt buckle. <laughs> oh, one star was retired. Yes. Ooh, I can't get it. If it's gone on the 31st and it's sold out, unless they moved it to, have you looked it up? Unless they moved it to last chance. That's the only chance we have. Because um, once something's retired, I can't even get it. Which is sad. Sad, sad, sad. Yep. Nope. I don't think so. I tried. Hmm. 
Nope, it's gone. I'm sorry. Unless it's um, paused, I can find out. Okay, I'm bringing the wipes. I did not make these. I bought these, but my friend made them. Yes, they're the leather kind. They're not the wooden ones. I already have... See, this is, I, I didn't make any wood ones like this because I already have these, but I could make some wood ones that are um, white. Agreed, Anita, 100%. Okay, all right, you guys, it's time to go. Um, it's been a long live and um, I'll be back here tomorrow. I will be back with some new stuff. I do have play rehearsal, but I'll still be here by eight. So all is well with the world. And we kept it simple tonight. Like a whole like four minutes of chalking and an hour of talking. Four minutes of chalking and an hour of talking. Oh, but I have a new outro for you. So make sure you stay and watch it. Disinfect the hotel too. I will do that. I will do that. All right, you guys, um, have a great rest of your night, and uh, let me know what you think of this um, outro video. Bye, guys.